Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video today. We're going to be hanging out here in the garage doing a little unboxing. I got a package from Tackle Warehouse. I have a package from Six Sense Fishing. We're going to open them both right here on camera. We're going to check out this month's Six Sack. This is the May 2022 Six Sack from Six Sense Fishing. I have no idea what's in this one. I'm really interested getting off in here, see if there's any exclusive items in this month's sack. I don't know. We're going to check it out together. Also, check out what I got from Tackle Warehouse. But first, I want to give you guys a couple quick updates, man. First up, shout outs to the Heater Army. I've got a couple questions about the Heater Army. What is that? How do I join? I don't see it. Look, I'm not sure what's going on with the channel memberships through the YouTube app, but you can't become a Heater Army member through the YouTube app for whatever reason. You have to do it from a browser. So hop off the app, hop on your computer, go through the browser, and then you should be able to see the join button. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the Heater Series rods. The Heater Series rods are now back in stock on SixCentsFishing.com. Every model, good to go. 6.9 medium moderate, the 7.2, the 7.4, they're all there available once again for you guys to scoop. So if you missed out on the rod that you wanted during the first wave, when we did the first drop, they sold out really fast. If you guys missed out and you wanted to get one of those 6.9s or 7.2s or 7.4s and perhaps you didn't get your shot, now's the opportunity. Do not sleep. I don't know how long these will last, but they are back in stock as of right now. At the time of this video going up, they're available, ready to ship. So check out SixCentsFishing.com and remember JR10 is going to knock $15 off every rod that you buy. That's a good little chunk of savings, man. JR10 for the win. Shout out to the JR10 army as well. But like I said, we're just going to hang out here in the garage, take a look at what's in this month's 6 and take a look at a new bait that I randomly accidentally discovered just buying random stuff from Tackle Warehouse. This product, for whatever reason, caught my eye and uh, yeah, I want to have a few of these in the boat. So we're gonna look at that. Something else that I've been wanting to talk about, man, the JR10 Army. Everybody who uses the JR10 code, you guys hear me talk about it here on the channel all the time. My JR10 code through Six Sense Fishing. I encourage you guys to use that. If you're in the market and you wanna check out some of the best fishing gear that I've ever used, the same fishing gear that you guys see me using out there on the water every day in these videos, you can check out SixSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna save 10% off your order. Secure the heaters, save the bread, as I always say, but not only that, it does go toward helping us keep this whole YouTube machine running. Yes, there is an overhead that goes into all this. We gotta put gas in the boat. We gotta keep these cameras rolling and running. I love to make these videos for you guys. I love to put them out there for free for everyone to enjoy. The JR10 Army and the support that we get from Six Sense Fishing makes that possible. I talk about the JR10 code and practically only the JR10 code here on the channel because I sincerely believe in these Sixth Sense products. I've been using them for years to catch fish right here on video for you guys. I wholeheartedly believe in what the company does and what they stand for. I would not encourage you guys to spend your money somewhere that I would not spend my own money. That's why I plug the JR10 code so hard. That's why I'm always giving thanks and showing appreciation to the JR10 Army because I literally could not do this without them. Shout outs to everybody that sends me a screenshot on Instagram. If you use my JR10 code, everyone who uses it gets a shout out on my personal Instagram account. Send me a screenshot of your order confirmation once you've used the code. I will post it up, tag your account. It's just a way for me to say thank you and give you some public recognition for literally helping us keep this entire thing running so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube, which is what I love to do. I absolutely love making these fishing videos for you guys, but it doesn't go down without Six Sense Fishing or the JR10 Army. But I make it a point not to ever veer off on this channel and start talking about some random product that has absolutely nothing to do with fishing. I don't ever veer off and start talking about a video game. Now let me ask you guys this. Have you ever been watching a video, whatever the subject may be, you're watching a video about a specific topic and then all of a sudden the video stops and they start talking about something totally different and it's a sponsor, somebody that's helping them sponsoring the video and so they have to cut a promo for them. How many times have you been watching a video and then all of a sudden you hear, let me tell you guys about Raid Shadow Legends. That's just the one that pops into my head. My point is, I talk about the JR10 code and practically only the JR10 code here on the channel. You know what I'm talking about. I know those of you who watch enough YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. And nothing against those people or those channels that do that. By all means, make your paper. You gotta do what you gotta do to support yourself and your channel. It's a lot of time and effort and money that goes into making videos. So it's all cool. It's just not my thing. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight into why you always hear me and you will always hear me mentioning the code 
encouraging people to use the code if they're in the market for fishing gear and showing love and appreciation for the JR10 Army. So that's what's up, man. I've had that on my mind and I wanted to tell you guys that for a while. And let me say this. I know that there are a lot of codes out there. You guys could use any code. It is not hard for you guys to find a discount for six cents, but the JR10 Army chooses to support. They choose to use the JR10 code because they enjoy the content and they appreciate what I do and they want to support in some small way or in a major way. Sometimes people be cracking off Mega Godzilla orders. Shout outs to the Godzilla and the Mecha Godzilla JR10 Army order placers. You guys know who you are. Enough of that, man. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts behind the whole JR10 thing. Thank you guys for the love and support. Shout outs to the JR10 Army. Let's crack off into this box from Tackle Warehouse. I'm having to like make sure that I don't yeet off camera too quick. I get excited. Sometimes I like talk when I'm walking off camera like this and I'm like, hey, let's have one. Make sure I tell myself to, hey, Stay in frame there, Junior. But all right, first up, Tackle Warehouse. Berg Blades Bottle Butcher. Killer piece of EDC. If you guys go check out at Berg Blades on Instagram, tell them old Jay Royal sent you. This is what I got from the house. These, check them out. It's a Bass Tech tungsten jig. We've actually unboxed a couple of these here on the channel before, but once I had them in my hands, I was really impressed with the quality and a couple key features I'll tell you guys about. First off, they come with these rattles, as you can see, which I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not into. So I pull those guys right on off of there. I don't need rattles on my jig. Like I said, it's a tungsten football jig with a smaller, more compact head. So I like that for coming through the rocks here on my lake. And it's a little bit more of a finesse profile. If you can see a little bit smaller hook, you can trim that weed guard down. This pairs up perfectly with the little finesse stroker craw. I wish I had one out here to show you, but all my finesse gear is in the boat. But that little finesse stroker craw from Six Sense fits on the back of this little jig. Perfectly creates an killer profile. This is a little PB and J color. I got several colors. Got a couple of that one. Then I went really like crawfish natural. This is, I don't even know if the colors are on here, to be honest with you. Uh, brown, green, pumpkin. I think that was just green pumpkin. That one says black, brown, green. You see what I'm saying here? These aren't too exciting. And then there's a couple more of those PB and J. That was sort of the most vibrant color. That's a, that's a good looking jig right there though. But yeah, those little Bass Tech tungsten football jigs, smaller profile, a little bit smaller hook. You can put a little finesse stroker craw on the back. I love the profile that this creates. I do take the rattles off of there, but if you guys like rattles, they do come on there. But that's a nice little tungsten jig. I'm digging those Bass Tech jigs. So I scooped me a little handful of those to add to the arsenal. You guys know the deal. Now, really quick before we get off into this sack, if you guys are interested in any of the baits that you're about to see, check out sixcentsfishing.com and use my code JR6SACK at checkout. That's gonna give you $10 off your first sack and it's gonna bring the price of that first sack down to like 27 bucks. Unbeatable deal, unbeatable value. Check it out. That's JR6SACK at checkout on sixcentsfishing.com. The six sack is six cents version of the monthly bait subscription bundles that you see out there on the market. There are several companies that do this, but Six cents, you know the deal, heaters only. These are all premium quality, hard baits, soft plastics, terminal tackle, fishing gear from six cents only. So you know you're not getting a bunch of random stuff that nobody's ever heard of. It's gonna be premium quality tackle from six cents every time. Build your tackle collection from home, your tackle pile, tackle mile without ever having to leave the house. One of my favorite things about this bad boy is it encourages me to use baits and colors that I perhaps would not have thought of to use on my own. Looks like we got a black sack this month. I'm anxious, dude. I wonder if there's something new in here that might have surprised us, I don't know. I'm gonna take a little peek and make sure I'm not spoiling the surprise if there is one. First up, a little small profile, medium diving crankbait, custom bluegill. This is a Crush Mini 25 MD. And look at that bad boy right there. That's a heater, dude. A little smaller profile, medium diving crankbait. So this is a good place to start if you're looking to get into crankbaits. A little medium diving, smaller profile. Awesome color on that custom bluegill. Keep it rolling. Looks like we're rocking with bluegill colors in this month's sack for the summertime. This is a Quake 70 in Cajun bluegill. This is one of my favorite bluegill patterns. Check it out, they came out with this one and I instantly fell in love with that Cajun bluegill. Here's that same pattern in the draw, that's pretty cool. You got the Cajun draw, 
the Cajun Quake. Two pretty sick looking baits, man. And that's that Quake 70 lipless crankbait. And I have a rod that we designed specifically for a bait like this. It's that 7.5 medium moderate heater series. That rod also back in stock. Check that out, that Quake 70. Vibrant rattles, premium custom looking paint schemes, and as with all Six Sense baits, you're getting premium black nickel hooks and hardware. Ready to go, straight out of the package. Wonder what else we got this month. Let's keep it moving. Dude, this one, I'm stoked on this. That catwalk smoke in that shad burst smoke. This is my favorite topwater walking style bait, as you guys already know. I have this bait tied on right now. Been smashing them on this bait lately. That shad burst is a killer color. Just got a clear sort of white shad belly, and then it rolls up onto the sides. It has that that sort of rainbow chrome look to it. Black lateral line with the green back, sort of a baby bass look. Oh, it's just uh, a really good color. All water types. The catwalk smoke. The catwalk topwater walking style bait. What sets this bait apart? You got that keel shaped belly, that V. This thing just walks, chops, splooshes like no other. Like I said, I have this sucker tied on right now and I pretty much always have it tied on. And this is the rod that I use, the 6.9 medium mod heater series rod. It's now back in stock. This one's been sold out since like the first day they dropped. So if you guys were waiting on this one, if you've been looking for the 6.9 medium mod, it is now back available, ready to ship. JR10 for the win. That rod is absolutely perfect for this bait right here the catwalk smoke all right so far so good but nothing new nothing exclusive yet Let's see what else we got Devon hybrid jig looks like a little bit of updated packaging I like that copper look a little black and blue 3 8 ounce Devon hybrid jig can't go wrong with that black and blue might be headed to Lake Fork soon this would be a good color for that murky Lake Fork water let's keep it moving what else we got in here Black and blue flake stroker craw. You guys know what that means. You know what that means. It's jig rigging time. You guys know we love playing tackle box around here on this channel. And when they send out a match made in heaven, like this black and blue flake stroker craw and this black and blue divine hybrid jig, we gotta bust them out and build them out. See what it looks like really paired up in its final form. Three eighths ounce, a little bit lighter jig, a little bit more compact profile. So I bit off a little bit of the tail section on that stroker craw. We're gonna go right in, right in, on, through, down, in, on, out, down, on, in, on. There it is, dudes. There it is. Don't forget to. There we go, dude. A little black and blue, bold, muddy slash murky water heater from the six. Combos ready to go. I fish a lot of clear water, so this isn't something that I would normally purchase on my own, but I'm well aware that black and blue is a bass fishing staple and something that you need to have in your arsenal as you travel around, especially in Texas, hitting all these different lakes. This is something you gotta have, man. All right, next up in this month's six set, what do we got? A Munch Fody. This is a new card bait that they released not too long ago. The Munch 40. It's based off of the Movement 80 bill shape, as you can see. Whoa, whoa as I almost drop it. It's based off the Movement 80 bill shape. It's like if the Crush 50 and the Movement 80 had a little baby. It's a killer little square bill type crankbait. And that's one of my favorite colors. That's a Chartreuse Pro Blue. One of the Six Sense staples. Nice loud knocker in that Munch 40. I would also throw this bait on that 6.9 Medium Mod Heater Series rod. All right, here we are, moment of truth. Is there something new, something exclusive in this month's six sack? I'm not sure, I don't know, but there are a couple more items in here we're about to find out. All right, so we got a piece of terminal tackle. Three aught mega wide gap hooks. These are the stout wide gap hooks. You can never have enough of these. I love these three aught hooks. I have a whole peg full of their stout EWG hooks right there. Six cents terminal tackle killer i got a boat full of it i've been using pretty much all their stuff but let's see what this is right here the sack looks like it could be something new let's see i don't know i can't tell what does it say 
can't read it. I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I can't read it. Ooh. Okay, so it's a Krub, a Six Sense exclusive color Krub 3.0. Sweet. So as you guys may know, I've been fishing this bait quite a lot here, and I've been using these hooks right here to do it. Now I see why they sent these. So this month they sent out a little exclusive color in the Krub. This is the Craw Tube, the Krub 3.0 from Six Sense. It's like a craw in a tube. My favorite thing about it is that it has like a reinforced tail section right here. So it's like full plastisol right here and then it turns into a tube the rest of the way down and it's hollow. Really natural appendages, a lot of action. And this color is like a dark motor oil slash green pumpkin. And it has, looks like teal and red flake. Almost like a green pumpkin juice type of color. Real dirty, nasty sort of fruit cake, baby vomit, baby food vomit, fruit cake, Halloween, sort of. Yeah, so that's the exclusive Krub color that came in the six sack this month. If you guys are interested in getting in on some of these exclusive colors and exclusive baits that you see in the six sack here on the channel, you gotta get in and sign up. They open up new subscription spots and slots at a certain times, but it is an exclusive membership. There are a limited number of spots available. They cap it off. So if there are spots available, when you go try to sign up, I would suggest locking it in because they do sell out. But JR6 Sack at checkout is going to help you save a little bit of money. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this unboxing, letting me talk to you guys a little bit, give you some channel updates. Check out the Heater Series rods, they're back in stock. And as always, use that JR10 code to help support the channel. Shout out to the JR10 Army and the Heater Army as well. Once again, hop out of that YouTube app and try using your computer or your browser window if you're interested in joining the Heater Army. It's that little join button down below the video and you will see all the current members of the Heater Army at the end of this video as their names are gonna scroll on the screen. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. I appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video, but that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now, but I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.